of course, at the same time, you know, all of us have different characters. All of us have different backgrounds. We don't came from different places. Some of you have been born and raised in church all your life and everything. So all you know is, is, is the things of God. God bless you. I'm not envying you. I'm not even knocking you. That there's some of us or whatever that, you know, like myself grew up knowing of God but didn't know God the way how I know him now. And, you know, of course, some of us grew up in church or whatever. We backslid, went and did our thing in the world. And then there's some people that basically was just all out in the world. And then God had to save them and, and, and bring them back. But then at the same time, we're supposed to be about our father's business doing kingdom work or whatever. But yet at the same time, we walk in with envy and strife. All that is carnality. That is not the spirit. You separating yourself because, oh, I'm more spiritual and more better than the next man at all. The devil is a liar. God is not even being glorified with that. So you need to check yourself and examine yourself. Like the Bible said that every man examine himself. And I'm not saying this as a throw off. I'm saying this in all, out of all sincerity and everything and speaking the truth in love. Like Jesus said, you shall know the truth. The truth will make you free. But then again, you know, we got to talk real like this because guess what? We, I can't, we can't, I can, you know, like the, like the words, like the apostle Paul said in the word, he couldn't talk to the Corinthian church as mature men and women, but he had to talk to them as babies who was not in need of meat, but was in need of milk. So therefore, we got to talk this same thing over and over again because the time when we ought to be teachers, you got to be taught again, according to Hebrews 5 and 26. But therefore, he said, are you not carnal? And then another thing too is that the favoritism that's going on in holy hip-hop amongst Christian promoters that's inviting the same Christian rappers, the same Christian hip-hop groups, and all these same people over and over again and, and everything for, for events and artists... You know, that, that's basically praying, fast, and seeking God that's under a church home or whatever is being smacked in the face or whatever because we don't get the respect that's due or whatever. And I mean, that's a slap in the face, you know, all, and I'm not just speaking this as myself, but for other Christian artists that's been laboring in the kingdom, we don't even get the respect due or whatever because... Everybody wants to submit and get the, the get the next best thing that's out there all for popularity's sake, which, which is which is basically sad. So I'm going to deal with this thing here. So the, so in verse 4, for while one said, I'm of Paul, another, I am of Apollos. Are you not carnal? And who then is Paul? And who then is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave unto every man. You know, I have planted, Apollos have watered, but God gave the increase. Shout out to every artist that's out there that's doing kingdom work and doing kingdom building. This ain't about popularity. This ain't about favoritism, whatever. All of us are the ministers of God that needs to be in prayer and everything. And I urge you artists that are out there, stay prayed up and stay spiritual. And at the same time, be very humble and walk in humility because it's very easy to succumb to pride because of success, because of things that happen and, and, thing, and, and things that's going on around us, don't let success blow your mind. That's, no, that's number one. Also, number two, at the same time, learn to respect and learn to, to, to sow into other artists' lives and encourage them with all. Get out of yourself. Because listen, this ain't about you. This is about God. This is about kingdom building. You know, the Apostle Paul said, I've planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. Shout out to my boy Conquest because Conquest is my brother. There's been encouragement from day one. So Conquest basically is one that plants. I basically, cue the prophet, the one that waters. But at the end of the day, it's God that gives the increase. So no matter what we're doing, we're effectively doing our jobs. It's not our job to criticize one another. It's not our job to belittle one another. It's not our job to speak all negative. All that basically right then again, it's carnal. Now let's go down to James 3. Beginning at verse 13 and verse 16. Okay, James chapter 3 and verse 13. Who is wise? Who is a wise man endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out a good conversation or lifestyle by his works with meekness and wisdom. Verse 14. But if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish hatred division envy strife all that is tools of the enemy that's what's keeping the kingdom of god divided and we're not even watching instead of us drawing swords upon the enemy and his kingdom we're drawing swords at each other you got christian rappers that's making records 
disrespecting another Christian artist, we making up videos or whatever, bashing other people or whatever in the body of Christ. All this right here is, is carnality. That's not the spirit. Because the spirit of God is life and peace. God said that he's not the author of confusion, but he is the God of peace. And, I'm, and I urge you now that if you have any or anything in your heart, whether it's hatred, whether it's strife, whether it's division or whatever, you need to ask God and help you. Lord, take this thing out of my heart because I want to live for you. Get the heart of God. All this right here, envy and strife and division and separation, like you the man, like you the next big dog, like, oh, I'm the next big thing that's going to really put this Christian thing, hip hop thing on the map. Forget that. Shout out to my boy Malachi The Truth because I was blessed by, by his song and his video, One Band, One Sound. The body of Christ is one.